So uh, certainly for the, for three D and cinematography, I can see um, there there aren't any really good three uh, D viewfinders out there for cinematographers who are capturing in three D. So this could be actually a very sweet product for them. That's absolutely true. Even a two D uh, viewfinder, they they don't have that type of electron that type of resolution in, in a viewfinder at all. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, it's a, very, it's a very exciting thing for them because, of course, the, the directors and the, and the camera uh, people want to see, they, they want to frame and see exactly what yeah. the camera's going to see. You can't do it without an viewfind, electronic viewfinder when you're using a digital camera. So. so also tell us how this is used for uh, virtual training by soldiers. Well, virtual training by soldiers, they, they can now create environments where... They they have uh, they build big rooms and they build, and, and they their walkthroughs of a typical situation in a in, a, in an urban environment. Uh, those are very expensive to to change all the imagery and all those things. Now they can they can actually put a, a headset on somebody's head on the group of soldiers and they can all communicate with each other. They can walk through an empty garage or empty warehouse and but see this environment this virtual environment and, and react to it as they would in the real thing. Yeah. So the higher the resolution, the the more realistic that environment is, the more real the training. Right, and, and and they're all tracked within this environment, so they actually see uh, the the other members of the squad uh, in their created in this virtual environment. Absolutely, they're using head tracking and other devices that that, that uh, allow them to look around, look at each other, talk to each other, move through the, the environment. Very cool. What else do you have? Well, we have we we, have, we are also showing the uh, highest pixel density, pixel pitch of, of any display of any technology. 8.1 micron full-size full pixels with sub-pixels at 2.7 microns. Wow. So we're showing that, that OLED technology really doesn't have any limitations in terms of how small or how, how tightly you can pack the pixels together. Uh, so this is very important because if you're going to continue to, to make resolution higher, you have to keep the, the, the displays very, very small because uh, a silicon substrate uh, doesn't allow you to, uh, to scale very well. That's true. Great. Well, thank you very much. All right.